What happens at an employment-based green card interview? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. You know, USCIS started doing interviews on I-45s, that is applications for adjustment of status to that of lawful permanent resident for foreign nationals in the United States who have an approved I-140. And I-140 is a petition for an alien worker that's filed by an employer or self-petitioned if the person is somehow extraordinary. And in the old days, these cases did not have interviews. But uh, the Trump administration changed the rules, and now there are interviews on employment-based green cards. And this is probably a good idea. You're giving quite a benefit to a foreign national, and having a green card interview is certainly not a bad idea. Um, but there's some questions as to whether or not the officers are entirely familiar with the employment process. We've seen some officers spend a lot of time covering marital issues, and I think that's because they're very familiar with green card interviews as it relates to marriage, and they're not that familiar with uh, the I-140 process, the employment-based green card process. But we've been to many of these interviews already since the rule went into effect, and for the most part, the officers seem to be getting it right. They're focusing on the employment, and it's important when you go to one of these interviews that you bring proof of current employment. You want to bring recent pay stubs, you want to bring a very recent letter from your employer showing that you're still employed and documenting that you understand what your application filed by the employer or your employment-based application was based on. And so you're really going to make sure that you um, are up to date, that you've read over all the applications that have been filed for you. I think it's helpful to review all of your immigration history because I think one of the side reasons that USAIS has decided to do these interviews is not so much to decide whether to give a benefit in a particular case. What I honestly think is going on is that USAIS is doing these interviews as a way to get free discovery or free information about different employers. And I think that there's some kind of database that this is all going back to. I've seen interviews where the officer completes the entire interview, goes over the I-45, and then uh, seems to be answering another set of questions. And I have a suspicion that these questions are being sent back to some central repository, some central place where people are pouring over it. The reason I think this is because in the I-140 situations that I've had where people work for these big employers that are H-1B dependent, that is independent on uh, foreign workers, that they seem to have a lot more questions than cases where uh, the person's working for like a mom and pop business or a smaller business. I had an interview for a, a lawyer recently and um, he worked at a local law firm and they spent very little time talking about the employee employment relationship and the past applications that had been filed. But at the same time, I went to one for an employee of Tata, which is one of the biggest H-1B foreign employers around, and they spent a ton of time asking about that. And I think it was not so much about whether the particular client got his green card, but more that they could start building information up about Tata and the other companies like that that are clearly in the sights of the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Labor. So if you get an interview notice for a 45 on an approved I-140, I think it makes sense to have an attorney go with you. Um, we've been hired actually a couple times now by the employee because the employer wasn't um, sponsoring them or paying for them to have an attorney attend the interview and they've wanted to have us there as sort of someone to help them prep and an objective eye and someone who knows the officers and can interact. I'll be going to one of those next week. So happy to help if you have any questions. If you're looking for an employment-based green card, give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. And be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know in the comments below if you have any topics you'd like us to shoot a video about. Thanks a lot and have a great day.